hard to stick around. And so, so I've, you know, I've been talking with our staff, you know, what do we do about second service? How do we? And so what we, what we thought is we, wanted, we want to give you an opportunity to serve. That's, a, that's our first, first strategy here, is to say, would some of you pray about this? Would you be willing to come to second service instead of first service? Because you want to make sure that people who come who are our guests feel welcomed. And it's not awkward for them. You're not coming because the time's easier for you to come. You're not coming because second service is so much better than first service. You're not coming because your friends are all in second service. You're coming because you want to serve our guests and to help them to feel like this is a church that is alive and vibrant. Would some of you think about that? There's a specific ask that we're putting in front of you as we think about second service. But there are other ways, right? How do you help us to reach out? How do you help us to reach new people with the love and grace of Jesus Christ? You know, that's what, the, that's what we're here for, right? Our Muse team has been wrestling with this concept of, of our, our mission statement and what is it that, that we're doing and, and, and what is it that we're thinking about. And we've been talking about how, you know, we're a group of, of ordinary people but, but we're not just ordinary people who are huddled here. We are ordinary people sharing and seeking extraordinary life in Jesus Christ. We're sharing that. In other words, we want other people who don't yet know Jesus to experience this extraordinary life that many of you have already experienced. Would you help us do that? That's service. That's who we are. We are servants. We are people who say, I'm plugged in. And being plugged in means that, yeah, we give. We're generous. But we're also engaged. We're involved. Let's pray. God, thank you for your presence this morning. Thank you for the way that you've spoken into our lives and you've challenged us. You've challenged me this morning. So God, I pray that you would take those challenges that you've spoken into our hearts this morning, that you would help us to think about them in light of your grace and presence, and that you would help us to step into those opportunities where you're leading each of us. It's going to look different for everyone here, but Father, would we have the courage to say yes to those things that you've spoken into our hearts today, that we would not shrink back in fear, but that we would say, I'm in. I'm going to be a servant. And as we do that, Lord, would you take our efforts and would you infuse them with your power that your kingdom would grow, that people would come to know Jesus and that our lives would be transformed as we experience the extraordinary life in Jesus Christ together. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.